to his lute, W. Drummond. It seems the notes played on the wooden lute are not pleasing to the author's ear, and a conversation to it is in order. The sounds were pleasing when joined in song by the one who is no longer there. The lute was formed from a charming Eden-like environment. The person that accompanied the lute in song is gone to heaven, and the lute is nothing more than a reminder of current sorrow. It is a mournful sound now that would be better silent. The words spoken to his lute are full of the sadness of a great loss. My lute be as thou wert when thou didst grow with thy green mother in some shady grove, when immelodious winds but made thee move, and birds their ramage did on thee bestow. Since that dear voice which did thy sounds approve, which wont in such harmonious strains to flow, is reft from earth to tune those spheres above, what art thou but a harbinger of woe? Thy pleasing notes be pleasing notes no more, but orphans' wailings to the fainting ear. Each stroke a sigh, each sound draws forth a tear, for which be silent as in woods before. Or if that any hand to touch thee deign, like widowed turtle, still her loss complain.